Oh, hello, just going to have a quick look at Fi. I basically uploaded this video a couple of weeks ago, made a few errors and, um, and missed some important information, especially regards to the, to the Great Pyramid, so I won't be including them in these, but I, I'll put a link in the description to a couple, uh, at least one really cool lecture regarding Fi and Fibonacci um, numbers, because very interesting, and that's what will be, this will be about. So we have the Fibonacci spiral, the Fibonacci numbers 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, 89, and how it creates uh, this spiral, which is so, again, uh, important in nature and describing so many things. The Fibonacci spiral and the Fibonacci numbers are uh, named after Leonardo Fibonacci, who uh, also popularized the like base 10. Um, Hindu Arabic uh, number, so that's uh, or of course they were much older, but it was Leonardo Fibonacci who popularized them in the uh, Western world. The F Fibonacci numbers, just like any series that builds on itself, will ultimately get closer and closer. So one, one, two, three. So one divided by one, two divided by one, three divided by two, and you'll see I get it will get closer and closer to this to phi, uh, 1.6180, uh, 3398, etc. But there, there is, it's uh, phi, it um, goes on forever, one of those uh, super irrational numbers. Uh, transcendental, um, like pi, and, but where you will find it in nature, so for instance, a passion fruit flower, now, even to see like how the growth is, so you have, I don't know the name of what these uh, stamen, Pistula or something, I'm not sure what the note, but we have 3 and 5, and these are the Fibonacci numbers. It's also 10 petals, uh, I'm not sure even if they're technically petals around the outside. 10 is 5 times 2, that's a pentagon or pentagram, we'll get into that a little bit later. But uh, so we see the beginnings there now. Uh, how often do flat, like 5 petal flowers, such as these frangipanis or these other ones, well, because they're creating a pentagon or a pentagram, that's why that uh, I mentioned the ten petals around the outside, which would create a hard angle, thirty-six degrees, thirty-six degrees. And what do we get when we uh, the pentagram, pentagon, perfect representation, geometric of the golden ratio. But even the the angles, such as thirty-six, seventy-two, one hundred eight, uh, all come back to the golden number, the divine proportion, as it's also called, the golden mean. And so yeah, this is how it's built into Fibonacci numbers are built into nature. Now they might. Uh, this is not fringe stuff either. This is well, you know, that a uh, uh, that the Fibonacci not all that particular spiral. It's not always Fibonacci. Sometimes it's the Lucas numbers, which I believe are properly pronounced Luca numbers, but the Lucas numbers. But this system of growth and expansion and the way things build on each other is entirely natural. It's not, you know. Um, unbelievably there are a few people who are just so pig-headed in regards to this that they're still trying to attack this and say that it doesn't exist but basically the world's core you know it's not even it's not in dispute anyone who's disputing this uh, really is more of a fundamentalist uh, it's a dogma unfortunately because well okay that's a long story but You'll see, so eight pet, so one, one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen, twenty-one. You'll see how in um, flowers, more often than not, uh, there are some exceptions, but they're usually built on the Lucas numbers, which gives us exactly the same type of system. Uh, again, related to the golden number phi. Uh, but so two, three, uh, sorry, three, five, eight, thirteen, and twenty-one petaled. Uh, flowers very important now my favorite is sunflowers because you even see the spiral in the flowers themselves is the Fibonacci spiral so you see that's one aspect of it but it's not just the spiral in the um, in where the seeds form it's also literally the number of petals once again and so sunflowers will typically now in nature there's always you know mutations there's a little bit going on but but t typically the vast majority of the time some flowers will have 34, 55, or 89 petals. 34, 55, 89. Fibonacci numbers, the golden ratio it's pointing to. And you'll see it in so many other, well, across nature, it really is just, you know, it is just there. You'll see those 
Uh, when you see, if you get used to spotting these spirals, you'll see just how it really is everywhere. Uh, pine cones and all these other sort of um, growths, you'll see it in in cacti. So, for instance, you might not see, but if you follow these growth cycles, they're they're creating again this Fibonacci uh, spiral. It just it just is. But it's literally built into our DNA, and so the the spir the DNA spiral, so one twist of that spiral is 21 angstroms wide by 34 angstroms long. And they are Fibonacci numbers, 21, 34, creates this golden ratio, but there's like a, like a double spiral. So there you can see there, but even, um, and again, I should put a little uh, asterisk, a little, uh, because there are some other little details to take into account, but uh, as a very, 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 very good approximate, the gap, so that where the spiral is smallest, that's 13 angstroms, and the larger part of that uh, double helix is 21 angstroms. Again, Fibonacci numbers, it's built into our DNA. It's also built into the human body, so you'll see the golden ratio um, in, in hands, but even, okay, we have five digits, that itself is a Fibonacci number. But even... So, for instance, your leg is then built into three sections. So there's five toes, but one, two, and then the third being the foot. So one, two, three. Again, these are Fibonacci um, numbers now on its own. Not too much, but when you see the greater, uh, it just it's it again really is. Even the hardest core skeptics don't go after this, but there's always a extremist fringe who um in, including um you know uh, devlin as well just uh amazing anyway but um see it in in horns for instance and uh it's a uh, one of the screenshots from the tv show fringe jj abrams he's right into it he's the he knows what's going on and you even see he's written by 1.618033938 uh etc onto fix so this it is a natural um, defines well seashells as well, but you also um, oh, I did another one, but even snails. So you know, the common garden snails as well. Uh, shells now not every single time because there's uh, there's a more tighter spiral, which is not technically a or not close. But again, you just you know, if you've collected more than a few shells, you'll start to see just how important this spiral is. But it also it's on the macro it's on the larger scale as well so for instance you'll see it in hurricanes or cyclones um northern hemisphere this it will turn this way in the southern hemisphere it turns the other way so it's a galaxies as well and even the thumbprint of god as it's called the mandelbrot set uh the amount number of tendrils two three five eight twenty one thirteen that's the fibonacci numbers once again uh, get again this you know you, you can't this is measurable testable you, you can't make this stuff up and uh, again it's uh, problematic for some but not for those who are open to it even um, the light spectrum so you have uh, the visible light that section there uh, creates a fire so it's one to fire as well so that's like a, I think it's Fiora Apophis was the channel I got this information uh, from. And uh, probably, again, there's so much information, uh, papers, websites, into the golden number, phi, really worth checking out. But uh, Fibonacci numbers, even as they apply, so for instance, we take the Fibonacci number 55, and then 89, if you divide 89 by 55, you get, essentially it's five, like I'm rounding it off there, because if you were to build this sequence down, it gets closer and closer, but 1.618. Now, the next Fibonacci number, 144. So 144, skip 89, divide it by 55, you get 2.618. In the true value of, of, of phi, square root of 5 plus 1 over 2, phi plus 1 equals phi squared. And so phi plus 1 equals phi squared, but also builds through dimensions. And now, but uh, 2.61818, well, in long rods, so... Um, also called the Persian uh, scale, ancient scale of measure. Well, that's all. It just seems to also equal to eighty-six thousand four hundred miles. Is again, it's a nice Fibonacci connection there as well. 
So again, that's just some of the, uh, uh, it's, you know, it really is pretty much everywhere and it's a really cool uh, feature in nature. It's just, look, it's just really unexplainable why certain gatekeepers uh, the, at the top um, of, you know, the people who write the uh, curriculum and syllabus and uh, the people who have the money and the power who control even math documentaries such as one called The Code by uh, De Sautoy. I'm not sure if I got his pro, uh, pronunciation right, but he did, uh, did a, well, it was a very cool doco, but he did a whole section on spirals and he never once mentioned the golden number. Not, not, not friggin' once. And it's, and so Devlin, his colleague, he, he even has long, long-winded lectures where he's poisons the well first and says, uh, car car on top of the golden number and then in the last 10 minutes so if you were to you know go if you could bear of the two hours of, of him just um car carring without any information and then at the end it presents information which sort of contradicts but uh, there, there is a a denial denialism uh, uh, around it because especially in this particular um age when you suggest when you point at these type of harmonies it's automatically assumed that you're trying to push some sort of, you know, in inverted commas, religious dogma. But this is not, this is, this is nature. It's got nothing, you know, this existed before anyone wrote books or anything. It's, but again, just, there are certain, uh, which is under the general banner of, like, let's call it hermeticism, esoteric, anything which is labeled that is just instantly to be, uh, well, firstly ignored or then, to be overlooked but our 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 world is still based on this this is of course the natural proportion but you'll find it in sacred architecture cathedrals major public buildings from this day going back in time the fibonacci numbers the, the golden number it just is it's measurable it's testable it's there and um and why not why why shouldn't you know we we learn at a young point about the as we're young in school why don't they teach us this because it's uh even people who are not into maths, people who hate maths, who um, have been introduced to this, uh, I see it in their face, you know, like, oh, wow, this is like, you know, why why didn't I know this? But again, just, there are uh, people out there who would, who would uh, suppress um, this knowledge, I suppose would be the word, I suppose maybe a bit too strong, but uh, there, um, like Kurt Gödel said, there are, forces in this world which would seek to keep us in essentially perpetual igno ignorance and keep this knowledge for themselves because well they use it but they just don't want us to know you know it's like george carlin said one of my favorite quotes say in the main system of education uh, that most of us are um, exposed to they teach us just enough to fill in the forms and operate the machine operate the machines um, um einstein quote uh something along the paraphrase he finds um, it's incredible that imagination can survive the formal education system and and well that's what it really it beats it out of you if you're lucky enough to have a really excellent teacher um had a few uh in throughout my schooling and and, and you see that uh but for the most part you know uh this sense of wonder this sense of awe this sense of of discovery investigations basically beaten out of us and this is one of the reasons why this, you know, or at least on my mind, one of the reasons why they don't uh, teach teach us this. And it's literally in our DNA. It's in the DNA of animals. It's in the DNA of plants. It's in the cosmos. It's from the microscopic to the macroscopic, from what's smaller than man to the things that's larger than man. And it is it's wonderful. It's so. You know, even if we had a couple of you know short classes during uh, education, why? But not a word. Uh, or if if you're very lucky to have a, a cool teacher who might have pointed this out, but the official uh, curriculum, it's not in there, and it should be. And so with that, anyway, phi golden number, phi it's a thing, ph, and have a good one.